I'm Johnny. The last video was late. I'm sorry. So what can I do to make it up to you? Post in the doobly-doo. You know, I would have gotten away with it too. If somebody hadn't ratted me out. Not mentioning any tracy names. I spent the last couple of weeks examining pentatonic scales and I want to show you what I came up. The problem is, is that Western musical theory is this cargo cult that likes to eat babies really, really quickly. Let's talk some music theory. Just a smidge. You probably see music as a bunch of notes strung up together. You know, like C, D, F sharp, B flat. The problem is, is that our brains don't necessarily work that way. Our brains see music as a series of intervals, which is really the space between the notes. You can see this in the singing of Happy Birthday. People will start on any which note they want, but the intervals will all be the same. It's really interesting. So way back in the day, it started with the Greeks or something. There are these things called modes and a mode would start on C and work its way up. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, which already seems kind of screwy. Like why do they start at C? Why wouldn't they start at A? You know why? Cause it's a crazy cult. That's cool. And you can see these notes on this piano here. But what about these in-between notes, these black keys? Well, they have even weirder names like sharps and flats. And from there we get into scales and it's just complicated and confusing. We haven't even talked about an interval yet. Like I said, it's a cargo cult. Let's assign a number. Let's draw them out in a circle like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. When we're talking about intervals, we're talking about the relationship between two or more notes. So let's talk a little bit about these relationships. The unison, the octave. Now really all this means is that they sound exactly the same. There's unison where the note is the same, so C and C, and there's the octave where the note is exactly 12 semitones higher, like that. A perfect fifth is seven steps away. A perfect fourth is five semitones away. Now, for whatever reason, cross-culturally, these all sound really good. Viheart has an in-depth explanation on her channel. Go check it out. There are major intervals, which don't sound as, if you'll excuse the expression, perfect. These are two and four and nine and 11 steps away. Even further down the scale still, there are minor intervals and they sound discordant and strange. And finally, the devil's tone. This sounds the most discordant of them all. Those are intervals. Let's talk about scales. A scale is an arbitrary collection of notes. You may have heard things like the major scale and the minor scale. Remember I was talking about modes, these like Greek things? Well, the C major scale is the Ionian mode. These are just fancy schmancy words. Try not to get hung up on them. What's really important is the intervals between each note in a scale. And in the C major or Ionian scale, it's gonna be C, D, E, F, G, A, B. The Dorian mode starts at D, but if you look, the intervals, the steps between each note are different because of these black keys. They really throw a wrench in things. Now let's talk about pentatonic scales. That means there's five notes in a scale. So what we do is we take the black keys here and use that as sort of the measurement of intervals. When you do that, you actually come up with a very interesting shape. And if you look, this shape has very pleasing to the ear intervals. You can move the shape any way you want around the circle, but you're always going to get perfect fourths and perfect fifths. So this leads to a very pleasing to the ear sound. I've done some exploration on pentatonic modes that I call Erisian modes. When I was chugging through the math on all this, I kind of screwed up. I made a little tritone sounding scale as well. There's gonna be links about that in the doobly-doo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to rap more about music theory, let me know. Thanks for liking and commenting on the videos. I really appreciate it. And we'll talk to you next time.